Hey you guys, welcome back to Full Soul Wellness. So today I'm doing a coffee tour in Matamuni Village, Kilimanjaro region. I'm really excited. I've never done anything like this before, so stay tuned. <laughs> Plantation and it's raining. Are we going down there? So welcome at the area of the Matiruni village. You know, this is a place how you make coffee, you make yourself by using your hand, no machine for making here. And also using local machine. And also, you know the name of this village? Matiruni. Yeah, Matiruni village. And also the people who are living here are Chaga tribe. Yes. Yeah, because Tanzania have a lot, many tribes, more than 120 tribes. And also Kilimanjaro, three biggest tribes, Chaga, Pare and Maasai. The Chaga, they live in slope of Kilimanjaro, the mountain Kilimanjaro, they live in Chaga. The Maasai, they live in down one in Mosh town, the place is called Bomangombe, mm. with Maasai. The Pare, they live in slope of mountain Pare, the way to go to Islam. Mm. And also now we are here in the area of Chaga. The people who are found here, the biggest clan is Materu clan, because the Chaga, they have different clan. Minja, Njau, Masao. Here is called Materu, the biggest clan, or called Materuni village. And also the people who found here are Chaga. And also the Chaga, Chaga people, the biggest plantation here, they're planting banana and coffee. And also you have seasonal plant maize, and also seasonal plant beans. And also because we are now, you are come here to learn about coffee, you got to continue to make coffee. And also you know how many types of coffee in the world? There are two species of coffee in the world. There are Arabica coffee and you have Robusta. Arabica and Robusta. The coffee you found in Kilman. Arab Arabic? Yeah, Arabic. Why is the African coffee called Arabic? Why you call Arabica is come from Arabic country. Ethiopia. Oh. Yeah, the first. So coffee starts in Ethiopia. Yeah, coffee starts in Ethiopia. Because here, Tanzania, the German missionaries, they are one who colonized Tanzania and also also Ethiopia. They want to be coming. Well, Ethiopia Ethiopia was never colonized. Never colonized, but Tanzania you colonized. Yes. And also the German they coming coffee from Ethiopia direct to come planting oh, Tanzania. Okay. And also the planting Kilimanjaro. So the coffee is not native. It's native to Ethiopia. Yeah, Ethiopia. To know this is the Arabica and all this is the Robusta. Arabica coffee is planting high elevation. Kilimanjaro Arusha. Robusta, they plant in lower elevation. Kagera, Mtwara, they plant in Robusta. Another difference, you're gonna differentiate by looking the bed of this, the bed of the coffee. Oh, this is a red coffee. Until you, first of all, be greens. After greens, we change color to be reds. When change color to be red, harvest for pick it. Mm. And also, when you're gonna pick it. So this one is ready. Yeah, this is ready. And also, maximum will change color to be all red. Yeah, all red. And also, we're gonna pick it. Also, the coffee of three shell. The first one is this outside part of this one. See? The first one, this. This is red shell. And also, we remove this by local machine. We have local machine for remove this. And also, also, we'll go to the farm to pick one by one the red shell. After pick it, we come to remove it. And also, we remove this local machine 
after removing it, you're supposed to put near the water, the beans, mm. in order to know the good coffee and all the bad coffee. Mm. The good coffee is sinking down the water. The bad one, the big float one. You put not the farm, like manure. Also, mm. sometimes the beans grow another new seed. Mm. Yeah. And also, after yeah. wash it, you put near the sun in order to be dried. Dry like yeah, this. It be and roasted. then this is roasted. Yeah. Oh, and wow, also, that smells yeah. delicious. Do you, do you and like coffee? I don't smell it. Yeah, oh, it smells so good. And also, when we dried, we dried near the sun for four weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks we dry and then we get this one. Because this is the last village, not too much sun. Yeah. yeah. Four weeks we dry, we get this. After we get this, you support to remove the shell. This shell we remove with local machine. See? Roasting beans. And also we roast in moon, what's the fresh one? Mm. Yeah. This smell. It smells so good. good. This smells so strong. Mm. And also no money here, say no coffee, no life. The slogan. No coffee, no life. Me, me, Marion. Me? Marion. 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 <laughs> Mm. And also see now, because we'll be dried enough near the sun, never cracks. Because it's so hard. Mm -hmm. Also even dry, so hard. Even if you're gonna use a lot of power, never breaks. And also now we'll go to remove that shell. That shell, and also we're removing the wine there. Anyone like to try? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think we do, we, we know what to do. We do like this. Okay. And also relax. Okay, hopefully I don't yeah. all the yes. Strong dada. From you see? From Dar es Salaam. Strong dada. Apple you see? Nothing's coming out. Okay, let me help you. Let me help you. Ah, we are Wow. I know. That was impressive. Girl. That was that was kind of better. And you see this this is a small part that I get the broken, yeah? Yeah. So this one, this is a very easy to get the broken because this is a rotten coffee beans. Do you know mm. rotten coffee beans? Rotten. Rotten. Oh, okay. Because this coffee, when they're going to be ready, when they're going to be ready in color, so we have it the parasite. Do you know parasite? Yes. So the parasite, when they came to eat the coffee beans inside, uh -huh. and because all the crops which you have it in uh -huh. here, we grow in organic way. Yeah, so parasites get in. So yeah. when the parasite comes, and the time we crush it in there, so the time we eat the small part, they get the broken. So all the, when they get the broken, this is a rotten coffee beans. So. And the good one is very hard to get the broken during smashing down that more than the pest. So oh. this one we remove like this one. We have it a lot in here. Just come. You see this one? This all the rotten coffee beans. 
And this one, when you live on this coffee beans, the taste is really be disgusting taste. That's what some people they say. Some people they love coffee, but they're supposed to add some milk, some cream, yeah, in order to sell like a fanity because of the rotten coffee beans. And you see the so, so rotten the cheap co coffee is rotten. Yeah, it's rotten coffee beans because if you see the rotten coffee beans, this and this they are on same size color and they are on same size. So the machine they cannot differentiate this one and this one because they are on same size. You see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one, as we pick them by hand, one by one by hand, and we collect them here, and we wait during one the one. season, one by one by hand, like he did it in here. Wow. So because the rotten coffee beans, yeah. they are in that color, like this one. <laughs> so you see, that is the dry pot, not the inside, no water, no oil inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ganga, Ganga, Dada, Wesi, Ganga, Wesi, yeah, Ganga, we, we, Ganga, Ganga, happy time, Ganga, to Furai, Ganga, we, 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 Ganga. Definitely smoke was getting my eyes. Never knew how this is how coffee is made. This is definitely an experience you should have. So. Shine. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, we just roasted coffee. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Coffee. So I should try eating yeah. it. Yes, yeah. Sir. That's so strong. So I'm trying the roasted coffee bean. Also? Yeah. Not bad. It's just very strong. <laughs> very strong. Mm -hmm. Sour. Now, Mdawa Kusaga. Saga means grindy, grinding time. Grinding. When you get the smell, wow. now it smells like the coffee, yeah? Huh? Wow, I can't believe how how that works. Yeah. <laughs> and also in here, I was telling you just to make a cup of coffee in here, you should have to boil the water first. Uh, mm -hmm. And then you take the pot of the coffee, you stir in the boiling water already. So in down the kitchen, the water is already boiled. And then you take this pot and we are going to stir in the boiling water. Uh, and one and a half minutes and then the coffee is ready. So this is instant coffee? Yeah, yeah, so this you take it and then we pour it in the boiling water already. And you should have to boil it for one and a half minutes and then we filter on the same one. So the coffee is ready because if you boil it for a long time, the taste it will be bitter taste. Mm. So one and a half minutes and then we filter on the same one. Yeah? So we take this powder and we pour it on the boiling water.
Ramadan. And also in here, the place where we check it, if the coffee still has energy on it, is the time we take the pot and then pour on the boil water. So the coffee is supposed to be on the top. Add with the coconut oil this. and do scrubbing their oh. skin. So these people use as a coffee scrubbing. But for us, we throw them on the farm as a fertilizer again on the farms. Can I take some with me? Yeah, yeah, I take it. I give it to you. Okay. Wait, wait. Later, I give it to you. Yeah, I keep it on the plastic bags. And now coffee is ready. Let's see back on the coffee position and there. Coffee time. Yeah. Now coffee is ready. Asante. I will say coffee time. Coffee time. That's why you say mda wa kahawa. Mda wa makahawa. Mda wa kahawa. Kahawa means coffee. Mm. You know, this is organic coffee. Even if you drink four cups, two cups, your heart never go boom boom. Be yeah. balanced. <laughs> Just take your heart. Cups. Cheers. Yeah. Say Maisha Marif. Maisha Marif. Yeah, Marif. Marif. Yeah. Okay. Marisha Marif. Marif. Means long life. Yeah, have a seat. Have a seat and enjoy a cup of coffee. Okay, so we just finished the tour. It was, it was good. This coffee is amazing. It's like, you don't even need anything in it. But um, I highly recommend having the coffee experience. This was Chaga Coffee in Matumini Village in Kilimanjaro region.